So today we're going to be going over this little doctor meter infrared thermometer, the IR60, that I was sent uh, for free. Just to be clear, I was sent this thing for free, did not pay for it, was not paid by Dr. Meter. They just asked if I would review this little thermometer here. And because I am, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not really uh, exactly prioritizing it. It's been sitting here for a few weeks, so I figured I might as well get around to giving it an honest review. Now, I have a board here that has a short on PP Bush G3 hot. So if I were to show you under my microscope, if we were to go over to the PP Bush G3 hot fuses on this 820-3332 board, you'll see, oh fuck, wrong key. You'll see that I have a short. So let's just measure that and confirm it exists. Put my meter in the serial mode. Put the red probe on ground, diode mode here, and uh, as you can see, Oh, that was loud. Uh, first, yeah, sure, first. Thank you for the reminder to turn down my volume. Almost went deaf there for a second. And as you can see, we've got a short circuit. So, we're going to take my charger and plug it in. And we're going to see if this little meter is any good or a complete pile of shit. Because, frankly, I'm not getting paid at any enough. Actually, I'm not getting paid anything to say that it's good. That it's actually a piece of shit. I gotta say, one of the really cool things about this thing is you can point it at a camera and do that, and that's just gonna be infinitely entertaining for me. I mean, seriously, even if this thing sucks, I would just I would buy one of these just to do this to my YouTube audience. Like just, ha! Like anytime I get some annoying live chat comment, I can just do this. It's pretty cool. But yeah, so the first thing that my criticism of this is that it's a black gun. It's shaped like a gun, and it is black in color. Like with everything that has been going on with police shootings and all the, well, you know, police wearing body cams and transparency and all the controversy over random shootings, you're, you're t you made a device that you can use to measure and try to figure out where heat is leaving your home. So you've made a device that people are probably going to use outside that's shaped like a gun, that has a trigger, and you made it black. Why? Like, wh why would you do that? I mean, it just seems like... Like, what extra effort would it take to make this thing any color other than the color of a gun? It's just, it's why? Anyway, but, so, I plugged this in. We've waited for it to heat up a little bit. So I'm going to hold the board up. I'm going to hold the gun up. And, actually, it's focusing on my face. So I'm going to have to change the focus of the camera over to manual because it's going to focus on my face rather than on the gun where I want it to. So let's change this over to manual focus. And I'm going to hold this thing up to the camera. All right, so where are you in good focus? So right here, you can kind of see uh, the everything. Let me just move this friggin' wire out of the way. I don't have a clip for the microphone, so it keeps getting stuck under the chair. All right, and we're going to lift this board up. Okay. This. All right, ready? Find my short. So we're at 79 degrees, that's not it. 77, colder, colder, colder. 82, nah, nothing really going on there. And we go up this way, we go up to 75, 77, 79, 87. Okay, maybe it's my graphics chip. Hopefully not, and above the graphics chip it goes up to 98. All right, so let's go to the other side of the board. And, okay, we're at 75, nope, nothing around there, uh, 83, 81, 79, I can actually smell that something's burning here, uh, 77, 75, 79, okay, this is, this is dumb. So right now I'm pointing this light directly at the short, and here, it just reset itself. So it was at 79. You saw it was at like 79 over here, and now it's at 144 over here, and now it's back to 112. So yeah, this is not exactly the best. Yeah, it works, but it kind of, yeah, I mean, I, yeah, it kind of works fucked up. So obviously my short circuit is this thing. I mean, any, you don't need a fucking, you don't need a $50 infrared camera to see that the short circuit is... Uh, this thing that's burning the plastic over here. Uh, that, that, that's obvious. That is a shorted capacitor. Um, and again, the meter does, like, watch, I'll point it at it. It will say that that is where my short is. See? So meter, board, 
90. I thought you were 70 just a minute ago, but whatever. Uh, we move up over here, 113, 115. And as I move down, it says 135. So now if I go back to the other side of the board, let's see, if I measure the part of the board that was 70 before, it's 80 now. I mean, this thing's kind of a toy. It's really, like, I link to it below if you want to buy it. You actually can't buy it on Amazon because all the sellers are completely out of stock of it, so I don't, I don't know how you, as you would get a hold of it. Uh, you can use this to find a short circuit in a motherboard. Technically speaking, you can use this to find a short circuit in a motherboard, but it's so kind of toyish and off the wall that, I, in my opinion, you could find the short ten times faster using your hand or the alcohol method. I'm sure this would be an interesting thing, so that you can see where the... Make sure to close the door, you're on camera, Jason. Uh, they, <laughs> uh, I'm sure this would be an interesting thing to try to figure out, you know, like where heat is leaving your home, or where cold air is entering your home, or where hot air is entering your home, anything like that. And it would definitely be a cool little thing to fuck with your YouTube audience with, but like would I spend 50 bucks on this to try and fix circuit boards? No. Again, any, th any th short that I can find with this, I could find shorter using my hand, the side of my face, alcohol, and any short, or balls, now that you mention it. Um, and any short that I couldn't really, that I would have difficulty finding with that, I'm never going to find with this. Yeah, so. So this thing is, yeah. Oh, and also the casing on it kind of. I can't close the, case, the part of the case for the battery, so I'm not sure how, how well that's in focus here, but see this? See that? It, it doesn't close all the way. I did my best. Anyway, so now we're going to repeal the short circuit and see how it works. Okay, so let's repeal this thing over here. Uh, where are you? I, I, I don't need a thermal camera for this. I really don't. The shorts that I need a thermal camera or an infrared camera or any of that for are the shorts that it's just not going to find. Like, I remember using one of those FLIRs on, uh, on one of the, the sections right by the GPU, and the, literally the, what, the, what the FLIR said is, like, this section of the board is hot. Like, this section of the board is hot. It's like, thank you. Which piece? Yeah, I, I know that this section of the board is hot. You don't need to... But yeah, I don't know. Waiting for technology to catch up. But this may be useful. You know, I mean, if you want to use this to find, see, you know, where heat is escaping your home, this is probably great to see where heat is escaping your home. I think this would probably be excellent for that. Let's see. What, what does it say for my air conditioner? So my air conditioning vent. It says 62. Oh yeah, I'm. Yeah, in terms of getting one of these for board repair. Okay. Say goodnight, capacitor. Oh, crap. I didn't put the nozzle on. This is not going to come off well. Probably should have repealed some of that tape as well. I, you can also see some green stuff here, so I can expect that there's probably some corrosion under the VRAM. Come on, you bastard. You evil little capacitor. It's time to go. Come on now, off into the sunset with you. And what are the chances this board's never going to work again? Because it has a hole in it. Yeah, something tells me that that may still be shorted. That cap is... yeah. This shit is welded. Alright, I gotta break it off. Yeah, this is... Something tells me I still have a short circuit here. What FLIR did you have? I don't remember. One of the ones that costs over two thousand dollars. It's your favorite laptop, Lenovo ThinkPad. 
That thing looks too wide to ever judge a chip failure properly. Yeah, you can't really move it back and forth. It has to be, not back and forth, I mean, you can move it left and right, but you can't move it closer or further away from the board. Obviously, I'm screwing that up since I'm like, trying to hold it and the board for the, and look at the camera view at the same time. So I'm kind of curious if this is still shorted. Use the flux, Luke, says someone. No flux yet. No flux just yet. All right, so let's see. If I were to look at the board view... Uh, the bottom side is the side that is what is most likely getting shorted. So let's see. And let's see, is it still shorted? Is this something that's inside the board? One way to find out. Okay, top is ground. Wait, or is, is top ground? Yeah, top is ground, and bottom is the line. <laughs> bottom is the line. But, yeah, this, this, is, this is a board Lewis is not getting paid for. One of many boards that I'm not getting paid for. Mofo. Yeah. So this, this got fucked, and now it's done, and rest in pieces, and good night. I, I could try to remove the short using my patent-pending Dremel technology. But that's not going to do me any good. The layers of the board have melted together, and now we are screwed. And these layers are not little data line layers. Though this is the this is 12.6 volts, the primary PP bus G3 hot power line, going straight uh, to the GPU circuit for GPU V core. So this this can all rest in pieces of shit. This. This board was cursed by the Dr. Meter. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's a hole, all right. That's a hole that we're not recovering from. Some holes you recover from, and some holes send you straight to ground. Hi to VD Child. I have to Google what a senpai is. I keep seeing that word, senpai. What the fuck is a senpai? Okay. Maybe, maybe this over here. I saw some solder between those two points. Maybe that was where we're shorting stuff to ground. Huh? No, 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 no. We're still shorted. Oh, no. Let's see. What, what was that capacitor piece over there? Yeah, that was GPU ROM SCLK. That, 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 was, that was for a clock? Yeah, that was for clock. That's not going to have anything to do here. Hmm. All right, so this board doesn't seem to be fixable, and this board is not fixable, and this is all Dr. Meter's fault. If it wasn't fucking Dr. Meter, I'm sure that the short circuit would have been just the capacitor and not the board. So what probably happened is that when I pointed this at the short circuit while it was powered on, the infrared energy, you see it says over here, avoid exposure, laser radiation, Avoid exposure, laser radiation is emitted from this aperture. What I'm guessing happened is that the laser radiation from this burns the capacitor into the board and then molded the layers of, CP of GPU V-Core, PP bus G3 hot, and ground all together into one mass. So had I not used this, this board may have just been recoverable. But because I use this and I expose my board to laser radiation, laser radiation, my board is now unrecoverable. Shame, Dr. Meter. Infrared tool is best for how hot burritos are. And I get 2,000 W's with a cross through it. Thank you for the 2,000 W's with a cross through it. A laser pointer may offer more value for messing with YouTube audience. Yeah, but this is like multiple laser pointers. Look at that. Eh? Don't point this in your eye. Alcohol is cheap. Yep, alcohol is less than 50 bucks. Camera upgraded? No, I just changed the angle of it. It's the same old piece of crap, Sony. NEX, what is this? Yeah, NEX EA50. It's the NEX EA50. I just turned it around, is all? Mm -hmm. What phone are you using? I use the S7, but I probably should go back to my Moto G. Better battery life. It felt less like it would smash or crack into pieces if I dropped it than the S7. 
The neighboring cap does not look good either. Oh, the neighboring cap is fine. The reason it doesn't look good is because it has this burned adhesive on it. This, this is a classic failure here. I, the same thing happened on my two-hour stream uh, about why you shouldn't blow a load on your MacBook, and it ended with me using the patented Dremel method on the board. Senpai is... What the fuck is a senpai? What the fuck is a senpai? I don't understand all of you. Okay. Oh, uh, I, let's see. That person's copying and pasting the same question over and over. Ignore that. Trying to drop 20,000 subs, I see. We're, I'm doing my best. We're going to have some more libertarian videos coming up. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Don't forget to pay for my college. <laughs> Yeah, okay, so um, this board is going to get tossed into a ditch. I'm about out of here. That is your review of the Dr. Meter IR60 infrared thermometer. That should confirm that I don't get products to review from any other companies for a while. If you want to buy that piece of you-know-what, there's a link in the description below. If you click that link and you buy that piece of crap, then I will get a commission off of you buying a piece of crap. Just got to disclose and be totally honest here. And that is your daily dose of shilling, McGregor or Mayweather. Um, Mayweather's going to kick McGregor's ass, but I'm not usually into the sport of people beating the crap out of each other for no reason, so I'm not going to watch it. Uh, so, yeah, it's time to get, get going. How do you explain the situation that just took place to the client? Very simply, it's the easiest thing in the world. So it goes like this. Can't fix it. Bye. It's like... Yeah, can't fix it. Sorry. Come pick the shit up. What is the crap in the top of the board? Uh, what, if you're looking at... This is the leg of a capacitor. So this is the leg of a capacitor. This is the power line. And this is the hole that burned away through the board. Uh, when, when water got here, that is now shorting my power line down here to ground up here. And that's why this board is, is fucked. So, that's that. Are you the guy who ripped that woman off on her repair? That woman. That, like, what? That is not, that, that is a useless comment. That woman. There are four million women in New York. What the fuck are you talking about? Let's see. When is the next reading from Fascinating Womanhood? Probably never. Uh, it's I gave that to someone I was dating a while ago as a troll. I, I just wanted to see the look that I was going to get. It was worthwhile. You need a junk barrel to throw stuff in, like AVE. Garbage. Who pronounces the R in garbage? Sounds like some European nonsense to me. <sighs> All right. Garbage it is. Garbage it is. Time to get out of here. So that's it. That's about it.